We are Team Newspeg. I'm Jenny Modlis. I'm Olga Bagchi. Amanda Sohaney. And I'm Tori Partridge. Uh, Newspeg. Newspeg has, uh, was founded by Mark Potts. It was launched on January 16th of this year. Uh, and it's been billed Pinterest for news. Uh, as you can see, this is a screenshot of the website. Um, it's a very visual format. People are using it to save stories. Journalists are using it to archive their own articles that they've written. Uh, there are PR people on there who are uh, sharing stories about their company and things like that. There's, we've seen a lot of different use cases for Newspeg so far. So. So one of the features of the site is pegging. Uh, you can do this in a couple of different ways. One way is to be within the story that you're wanting to share or curate or whatever you're wanting to do with it. You can do it within the page by using this peg it button, which can be dragged up to your bookmark browser on your browser. You can also be within the news peg site itself to add pegs, and you can also create new boards, new boards on the site as well. Um, so you can create a whole bunch of new boards. Newspeg comes uh, when you create your account with a couple of boards already built into the site, like news, sports, entertainment, technology news. But you can also create your own boards um, for anything as broad as uh, breaking news or as narrow as Olympics 2012 to kind of help organize the stories that you're collecting, sharing, or saving. Okay, so here is an overview of the types of things that we have accomplished so far. So when we initially met with our client, one thing that he really wanted to focus on was awareness building. And we thought that the best way to do that would be to have a social media strategy. So we created um, and we have implemented that social media strategy. Um, we've also found a few things on the site that we um, feel need fixing. Um, so we've done some troubleshooting with that. Uh, we also did a curated board experiment. Um, and the last thing we did was a user survey just to sort of get an understanding of who's using Newspeg, what they're using it for, and what improvements they would like to see to the site. Uh, for social media, uh, we created a Twitter, or a Facebook and a Pinterest account, and we expanded the already existing Twitter account. Uh, when we began, the Twitter account had about three followers, and we're now at 104. Um, Facebook obviously started at zero, and we're now at 183 likes. Uh, so we post on these accounts uh, every day to kind of advertise Newspeg and market it out. Um, and everyone in here should follow Newspeg on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Okay, so um, as far as the types of social media posts we want to do, um, we really outlined a lot of this in that social media strategy that I talked about um, that we created at the beginning of this project. I um, mean, we sort of have four um, different categories of posts that we are putting on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Um, so the first thing is we want to showcase a lot of pegs from different users. Um, they, Like we said, there's a lot of different use cases for news pegs, so we're really trying to um, show these different pegs off on our social media pages just so people can see the sort of things that they can do on our website. Um, we also like to share a lot of breaking news stories just to keep people sort of alert um, as we are news peg. Um, and we also like to use a lot of those trending keywords that you can find on Twitter um, to hopefully grow our social media audience, audience further by um, putting up a lot of breaking news. We also like to um, promote our other social media accounts using our accounts. So. For instance, we have a lot more followers on Facebook um, than on Twitter, so we like to link back and forth just to try to grow our audience in general. Um, the last thing we like to post about on our social media accounts is different tips that we have. So, um, for example, do you like, you know, do you have the peg it button on your browser? Different things that will really help the user experience and just get people to understand the different features of the site. So one of the things that we've tried to do to engage our users a little more was a curated board experiment. Uh, the original idea was a large curated board with every single user's pegs being shown. Um, we created it around a specific topic, in this case the Oscars, and invited all of our users to peg through our social media and things like that. Um, because of some coding issues, this didn't work out exactly as we had hoped, but um, you could only see the Oscar pegs that you did, not what everyone else did. Um, but we did have users who were not part of the team pegging uh, about the Oscars and showing some interest within the topic. Uh, and to see all the stories, you could still search them by looking up the Oscars within the search function, and they would all come up together. Um, we kind of learned a lot from this. Uh, we learned that while we do have um, some active people on the site who want to get involved with things like that, we also do have some limitations with our technology. 
Uh, that was the big takeaway from the curated board experiment. The, uh, when you're working on a new site such as Newspeg, uh, a startup, you're going to have some technical issues with the site. And we've alerted our client to a number of uh, issues that we feel would help enhance the usability of Newspeg. So these issues include things like um, there are redundant buttons on the main, pa on the main page of Newspeg uh, where you can like and favorite a story, but we'd like to replace one of those with a share button so that you can more easily tweet it out to your followers or get it out to people you are friends with on Facebook. Uh, additionally, um, the Newspeg system has trouble picking up uh, pegging stories that don't have images attached to them or that the website doesn't recognize, and that's something that a lot of, a lot of users have um, been vocal about getting fixed, so that's something we're working on as well. And then um, we have, uh, as, as we mentioned in the curated board experiment, we don't have common boards that everybody can peg to, which is something that we'd also like to get fixed. And while there is a commenting system, it's not as vibrant as it could be, and that's something we'd like to enhance. Uh, very recently, we sent out a user survey to the about 500-ish users of Newspeg, and we had about 30 complete responses come back. Uh, we asked questions about usage, features of Newspeg, suggestions for making Newspeg better, and demographic information, and the survey proved very useful because we learned quite a bit from it. Okay, so as Mandy said, one of the main things that we asked about in our user survey was demographics. So we sort of had an understanding of who was using Newspeg um, by viewing the Google Analytics, but we also wanted to get a lot more in-depth research done on who was using our site. Um, so we found that most of the Newspeg users are very young. Um, we found that 42% are between the ages of 25 and 34, obviously quite a few is a small audience. We also found that 73% of our audience is um, male. Um, so that's something that we definitely want to keep in mind. Um, we sort of, like I said, had an understanding of that, but we didn't realize the statistic was that high. Um, we also really found that everyone who used Newspeg was very tech savvy. Obviously, you know, people who found the site or who were visiting the site were already using the internet, but we didn't realize how tech savvy they actually were. For example, 96% um, of people said that they use um, the internet more than four hours a day. Um, which is a lot. I, I don't even think I use it that much. 85% um, said that they had a tablet, which is also quite a striking figure. Um, and 100% of people said that they owned a smartphone. Um, and something that we initially talked about um, at the beginning of this project is the um, implementation of the Newspeg app. I um, mean, just the statistic like that really proves that an app maybe could be useful um, and something that we could explore, you know, later on or if our client really thought that that would be helpful. We could see that in the future. Okay, so we did learn that uh, our Newspeg users don't use Pinterest on a daily basis or use very much. So we have about 10% of the users use Pinterest, which may be leading to some of the confusion that initially goes along with using the site. We did, however, find that 90% of our users use social sites like Facebook, uh, A3 used Twitter, and something that we hope to use to our advantage is that 79% of them use browser-based email sites like Gmail and Yahoo. And what we're going to be doing to help with the initial confusion of the site is sending out tutorials to Newspeg users through their emails. And along with that, some suggestions and tips and things like that to help get them engaged on a more daily basis. Um, in terms of Newspeg usage, uh, we've learned that uh, sto stories that people have pegged, uh, the most common response that users gave was that they're pegging stories in order to share it, whether it's with other people on the site or people that follow them on Twitter or Facebook or what have you. About 51% of uh, users that responded to the survey said that that was a motivation in pegging stories. Um, in terms of uh, what people commonly expected to see on Newspeg, it seemed that 76% of users wanted to see stories from large news organizations or local news organizations, but most didn't want to see niche subjects or blog posts. It was mostly news that they wanted to see. Uh, Newspeg users are not highly engaged with the site currently, which is something we're working to, uh, to fix. Fewer than 30% of respondents said that they had uh, pegged more than 10 stories, and uh, some had said that they had not pegged at all because of usability issues, or they just didn't understand the concept of the, of the site. Uh, most users don't check Newspeg all that frequently. Uh, as you can see, about 41% of users uh, check Newspeg less than once a month, and that's a number that we're working on increasing. 
Uh, so we also found um, a lot of usability issues through the survey. So a lot of users indicated they were frustrated with the inability to add a peg that didn't have a picture. A news peg is a very visual site, but news stories don't always have pictures with them. And if they don't, then you can't peg the news story at all. Um, a lot of people uh, said they wanted more options to sh share on social media. When asked what features people wanted to use or used on Newspeg already, not a lot of people had shared Newspeg on their Facebook or Twitter. Uh, but here we have 58% said they want more sharing options. Uh, so the interest is there. It's just not as easily as available as we would like. Um, they also expressed interest. They had difficult. Difficult, difficulty, sorry, finding all the previous pegs on a particular subject. Um, and so that kind of ties in with our uh, curated board experiment. Um, and then we also found a lot of users uh, had interest for seeing tutorials about Newspeg and how to use the site. Um, and so we have those tutorials in the works and we've been working with our client to kind of help resolve a lot of the usability issues that we've discovered. Does anyone have any questions? What else compares with this? Did you find, uh, looking around, are there other services similar that you could learn from or could help Newspeg further develop? Uh, it seems that most of the people who are uh, who responded to the survey and the people we've talked to, it seems that um, what they find as an equivalent is just either going directly to a source uh, rather than sharing news if they're looking for something in particular or if they are looking to share news, they'll do it through Twitter and that sort of thing. Um, and what we're trying to do is make sure that people know that Newspeg is kind of a, a niche site for sharing news rather than, you know, sharing photos of your lunch on Twitter or whatever. So. Sometimes um, when it comes to new startups, people put things out there to find out what people are using them for and how they find them most interesting and, um, and whether there's um, a, a business model or something for it going forward. I'm curious because you all probably have used the site as much or more than any of the users that you surveyed. Um, what did you find most um, interesting, fun, or entertaining about the site or, or most useful? I'm just kind of curious, go down the line. What, what uses that you found it most useful for? Well, um, our client did actually recognize that there are multiple uses, as you had mentioned. Um, he said the one is obviously using it as the news site, which I find to be um, the best use case for Newspeg. But he also said that a lot of people are using it as a way to um, basically organize their personal information. So if they are a blogger, they like to organize their blogs into different categories using Newspeg. Um, that is one of the things. I think that's really interesting, though, because um, to me, you would prefer to use Pinterest for something like that because that might be more visual, while Newspeg is intended um, a lot more for like headlines that you know those run very large on the front page of the Newspeg site. So it's interesting that people are using it um, as bloggers. Uh, I've personally found that just following a variety of people who are pegging different things, uh, you end up getting a lot of different perspectives on uh, perhaps the same event. So we had a big push for baseball articles uh, earlier in the spring. And while I was pegging stories about, you know, the Cubs or whatever, because I'm from Chicago, uh, you know, you see users pegging about the Royals or, you know, just baseball previews and things like that. And it's, it, you get a lot of different things to read. Even though, if you're not, even though you might not get through everything that's on the site. So. I like using Newspeg most for collecting the stories that I've already read. So I read something, hear about it on Twitter, click on it, and then being able to take that article and then saving it on Newspeg so that if I ever wanted to, I could easily go back and find it again. Um, I liked it most to see trends, I guess. Um, it was an interesting, it was a different way of saying trends than on Twitter. On Twitter, like the biggest trends pop up on Newspeg, what you see is the most recent because it's always at the most recent stories at the top. So seeing multiple people pegging about a specific topic was really interesting. Uh, and as Orko mentioned, just seeing the different ways in which people were viewing a certain event was also really interesting to me. 